We are going to Cayman Islands. Grand Cayman. Yep, we're gonna actually get a stem cell injections. And we've done this before yep. uh, at stem cell. But a couple years ago, I went my back doing Olympic lifts. And it's just something I really hadn't done before. I was kind of new to it and probably wasn't having the best form. So anyways, I ended up bulging a couple discs in my back. And then Chelsea, about five months later, you ended up hurting your knee. I had surgery when I was in high school. A knee, ACL, meniscus replacement. That was really tough. I mean, again, we're extremely active. I love working out, being fit, doing things. And when your lower body's in that much pain, it really limits what you're able to do. Yeah, that's where we started looking at the research and figuring out what we could both do. But I will say, stem cell injections or PRP or Pro, whatever you get, they're not the most comfortable. In fact, yeah. you know, they hurt. You know, they, they, they hurt. hurt a little bit. Yeah. But you know, we um, we just have seen the great results with, uh, with them the first time and just seeing, again, uh, just reading the results of medical studies online showing stem cell therapy helping mm -hmm. regenerate new and healthy tissue. So we're excited to uh, go down to Cayman. And we're gonna have fun the first couple days. We're doing, the last time we go, we didn't get to do this, but we're going and actually gonna swim, swim with stingrays. That's gonna be cool. Rays. Sea turtles, we're supposed rays. to see some sea turtles, maybe some dolphins, and I think a reef, you know, go, we're gonna snor snorkel. snorkel a bit. Okay. So we're excited to do that. The food in Cayman is actually surprisingly, well not surprisingly, it's just great, you know? We love tropical Caribbean food, so the fresh fruit, the fresh wild fish. seafood, good. really good stuff. So we'll, we'll get a little, R&R &R the first couple yeah. days. All right, so we just got a puppy update. Chelsea, actually I had a hard time yesterday when, when Flash, because we've had to leave our dogs a lot and they're- A lot for like the last couple of weeks. They're almost like, not a lot. Yeah, but. so they're almost like, uh, I mean like kids. Us. And so there when, are babies. When, we, when you were going to leave Flash again, I thought you were going to start crying again yesterday. It was pretty so sad. sad. But we have the best dog sitter. Her name is Miss Jane. And so we get puppy updates. And our dog Flash is like super social. Our dog Oakley is such a loner. And so like when we see these pics and videos, and she sends a whole like paragraph about how their day was, how their appetites were, the whole thing. What they did, so we're about to read. With. So let, let read the puppy update here. Let's hear how Flash and Oakley are doing. Miss Jane says, your sweet boys are doing great. They have been playful and seem to be enjoying their visit. I always enjoy taking care of Oakley and Flash. They are very entertaining, especially Flash. There's never a dull minute with him. They seem to be feeling great. Their appetites have been hearty. All is well. Yep, and we got pictures here of Flash, you know, hanging with, oh, hanging with a new buddy there. And then they the are sweet. He actually, he's actually a hoarder too. Oakley <laughs> likes to hoard the toys, so every picture that we get is him with like this pile of toys that he tries to keep from all the other dogs. As you can see, he just he's just hanging out. It's great. Let's see, tomorrow we are uh, going on an excursion. So we go out on a boat and Stingray Island. I'm so excited for Stingray Island. I love stingrays. I know, weird. Totally weird. That's not that weird. When, I, when we went to SeaWorld when I was little, one of my favorite parts of SeaWorld oh, we love the stingrays. was feeding the stingrays. Like having them eat the fish under your hand, like they'd swim underneath it and like little, oh, I love stingrays. We Blackfish, I saw the documentary, I am on your side. We're on your side. I'm just saying, when I was young, it was a highlight. That's all I'm saying. Don't hate. Yeah, I was the kid at one point, my mom set it up where like I got to go down and be part of the show and like oh, play with the dolphin, with do the Shamu. whole thing. No, no, I, with Shamu. I did it with a dolphin. I didn't do it with Shamu, but and then tomorrow night, Calypso Cafe. This is the place that people on the island when you ask them and, and came in, hey, what's your favorite restaurant? I feel like eight out of ten times they're like Calypso. Absolutely. And so we're gonna go there and their seafood is the best, it's awesome. And, and it's right in the uh, water, it's super pretty, right it's really fun, lively. It's gonna be great. Chelsea just got into a new book, and uh, I like sci-fi, uh, you know, the sci-fi fantasy genre of, of uh, just, again, when I'm reading to sort of take my mind off things, um, you know, unplug, that's that's what I like to read. I love, I love superhero movies. Uh, yeah, so if somebody can't <laughs> shoot fireballs out of their eyes, I don't know that I really care to watch it.
not even, I mean, what in the world? How much time is it? We are, uh... We're gonna go look at some grades. So just, uh, print to the top and sign and date at the bottom. So this one here, we don't have to go very far, that's the best thing about uh, this site and as I said, there's normally tons of fish when you get in, literally just off the back. <laughs> Babe, you are getting a big starfish on I'm getting there. a real big starfish on All right, guys, Chelsea and I are here at Stingray City in the Cayman Islands. It has been awesome. We both got to kiss a stingray today and uh, swim a stingray, saw an eel. Uh, it's been awesome. They were the best. They were so sweet. Right, I, was, I was actually but surprised. They actually combined me a little bit. Not quite as per, as much personality as dolphins, but quite a bit of personality. Extremely. With, They're with, very ones. individual. And then tomorrow, though, it's kind of crazy, but yeah, we're getting stem cell tomorrow. I'm very thrilled that it's like tomorrow. We're just, just the blood draw, and then we'll come back tomorrow afternoon and do the injection. Cheers. So we're here at the Regenex uh, Clinic, uh, stem cell clinic, in uh, Cayman Islands. So um, I'm about to get my blood draw here. So we were going to have to draw um, 26, 26 vials for, okay. for your re-injection. Um, approximately how much water have you had for the past 24 hours? I've probably had about 100 ounces. Okay. I feel good. We're only getting like 11 vials today, so it's like great. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. We're going to go with some bone broth protein because I'm protein deficient right now. I'm never happy when I have not had my bone broth protein or protein. And then we'll probably go lay by the pool. Yeah. Um, lay by the pool for a little bit. Maybe work workout. Yeah, Maybe I'm not going to work out real hard, but probably just do something light. Yeah, just just move a little bit. For me, so I'll probably still lift and stuff. All right, so we are uh, about to go get stem cell done in just a few minutes, and a lot of people don't realize too. You know, we um, we're very fit, very active, but you know, like anybody, we can have injuries, especially being a doctor and helping a lot of people overcome chronic pain. You know, I, I kind of knew, thought I knew what to do, so I started, you know, getting adjusted by a chiropractor. I started eating really clean, you know, turmeric and ginger and just doing some light exercises and still like I got probably 50% better, but then I hit a plateau and didn't get any better mm -hmm. for, for a while. And um, that was something that again, for me was so hard because typically, you know, when I work with somebody one-on-one, -on -one, I feel like 90 plus percent of the time I, you know, they, they see a breakthrough or they regain their health. But when it was my own body, I didn't really see that. And so that's when I started doing a lot of research online and looking at, okay, what else can I be doing to help my body get back? To hold because even after again six months like I would even after sitting for just a short period of time I'd get chronic aching in my back um, I really couldn't sit more than even probably 15 30 minutes without Tops. my sure. back starting to hurt that I started to continue to learn uh, more about you know other ways to heal the body and so one of the things I stumbled upon was regenerative medicine including stem cells and uh, PRP, which is platelet-rich plasma, and so we went and and and, um, and did it and saw great results, and that's why we're back here uh, in Cayman Islands again. And we chose Cayman because what they can do is in Cayman they can draw your stem cells and then culture them. Now you can get stem cells in the U.S. and it is great and fantastic for one treatment, but we thought you know what we may need a couple of treatments or multiple, which is why we came to Cayman is because in 2012 they out the because of pharmaceutical companies they outlawed stem cells. Uh, culturing them in the US but you can get stem cell and PRP in the US uh, here as well. So you, you were a competitive volleyball player? Yeah I was. I had, uh, I had some scholarship opportunities if I wanted to play in
Yeah. See, just beneath the quad tendon, the little black area is like a black strip. Yep. That's fluid. That's all fluid coming from inside the joint. Okay, no one hurts. Oh, don't hurt. Yeah, I'm good. You gotta tell me. You gotta tell me so I can. Okay. Just put a little bit more numbing in. As we're going. Do you want me to go back and put a little numbing no, in? No, no, it's fine. Okay. No, yeah. just the deep, like that last little bit there. All right, guys, just finished our stem cell treatments here in Cayman, and I got a bit of red mark on my forehead. Chelsea just told me from uh, laying face down the table. But yeah, I had my disc done, and uh, Chelsea had her knee done. Had my knee done. And uh, Crutch's little back brace here, but moving well. It usually takes about three three days or so to recover uh, to start. The pain is inside. In about mm -hmm. two weeks, feel pretty close to full go. Maybe six, you know. Yeah, and then you start to really see stem cell results after about three months. So, anyways. Uh, Dr. Lee was awesome as always. Region X does a great job, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll keep you updated on progress. All right, guys, it has been about uh, ten weeks or so uh, since we got back from our Cayman uh, stem cell treatments, and feeling really, really good. I mean, we've every time we've gotten. Uh, stem cells and this time we have noticed a really big change in our body. That's been great. Regenex is amazing. You know, Dr. Lieber, uh, Dr. Centeno. Yeah, they've it's... checked up on us numerous times, make sure we're doing well, recovery is doing well. Yeah, so Chelsea's knee, we did yoga uh, yesterday mm -hmm. or two yoga. days ago and uh, you were um, doing full squats. And, and my, my back is feeling great, pretty much back to normal, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. If you're interested in PRP or stem cell, there's lots of good practitioners doing that. Mm -hmm. You wanna make sure that you get either um, bone marrow, your own bone marrow, or adipose, uh, if you are gonna get any type of stem cell done. And the PRP is really great. It's really cost effective. Certain types of prolotherapy can be too. And it's really harnessing your body's own cells and tissues to support healing in your body. So it's all natural, which of course we're a big fan of. So anyways, um, just wanted to give you guys the update. We're back with Flash and Oakley hanging out here in Nashville. Hope you guys have a, uh, a great day. And this is uh, Josh and Chelsea checking in.